Next story is on Tiwa Savage, and she says she's embarrassed to be a Nigerian. This is coming off the back of um, the, um, the, the rape, uh, pastor, Biodu Fato Ibo, the Elisha, is it Elisha Abo, or Abo. how did they pronounce Abo. his name? Abo. And um, she's saying women are not being protected in this part of the world. They are abused, raped, underpaid. I mean, so many things are going on. And she's saying she's beginning to feel like she needs to do more than just a post, and that she's raising her son to be a man mm. and i think i like that statement she didn't use better man a good man be a man because mm. i feel like being a man comes with so many responsibilities and one of those responsibilities has to do with the way you treat people around you not just women everyone around you mm. you have to be a better human being and be a man so i like her comments and um i don't think she's just responding to elisha because some people were saying oh she didn't say anything when it was just um um, it was um, Busola Dakolo's time, but now she's coming out to speak. But she was talking about everything. She said, with the news that, is go that has been going, going around on, for the yeah. past week, that she's sad and ashamed to be a Nigerian. I mean, I get you on that point. I have to agree as well. I think you, it, the problems in this country can start to feel very draining. Mm. Um, it's just left, right, and center, and nothing seems to work. And people are <laughs> before you can even get through the Nigerian mentality and then like manage through that, the system itself is not defending or supporting or making a stance really we have constitutions that were written 60,000 years ago mm. and hasn't changed it's just it's, it's such a joke so I agree with her on that sense I mean I was coming back with a lot of expectations and all my expectations have been have been in fact crashed down uh, and I cannot be um, writing off of I miss Nigerian jello fries like after a while you eat it and you'll be fine like you know you need more to hold on to mm. about your homeland and they're not giving us much so mm. I agree to that in the sense of like that women are not being protected, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I know if, if Efe was here, you probably would have advocated for the men. And as I mentioned several times, feminists advocate for all genders to be equal. Mm -hmm. But when we talk about women, your job isn't to now distract the conversation. The, the, the conversation and then talk about men. It's supposed to focus on one thing and then after the other. The sky has enough space for everybody mm -hmm. to fly. Mm -hmm. And if, if um, Tiwa Savage wants to use this platform. It's really important that we listen and we understand that there is a problem. There uh, is a problem. It, that, in fact, it's a pandemic. Like mm. it's and it's just the ones I get on Instagram. If that, in, we know. that we know on on social media and everything. I mean, our real lives we see more and stuff. I don't know what needs to be done. If because this is happening in a place like Abuja and Lagos, imagine what happens in those rural, rural areas. areas that we don't even get to see on social media. Yeah. So something needs to be done. Is that we need to start putting policies, and we need to. And I think, like like you said, when she when she talked about her son, I was really joyed because that is the best. In fact, that is the only time you can actually raise a man from mm. when they're young. Not you can't raise, tw tell a twenty year old now to start on learning things. I mean, the the chances of that is really really slim. Mm. So her involving her son is re it, it speaks really well because I think I think that we have we have really filled our boys mm. either even by listening to them. Helping them go attention. through their pain or not paying attention to them or just expecting masculinity and no emotions whatsoever. Toxic masculinity. Mm. So I think that uh, her post is very valid.